select the answer option that shows the figure on the left rotated into a different position. Only one answer option is correct. In order to answer this question, we're going to consider this figure. We're going to look closely at the relationship between the blocks in that figure and think about how it would look if it rotated around. The resulting rotated version of the figure is represented by one of these six answer options. To help us choose correctly, we can take a closer look at this figure and the blocks within it. So here is the original figure and as you can see we have an L-shaped block like this and two cuboids which are the same size. They are parallel to one another. Towards the right angled corner of the L-shaped block there is a cube. If we separated those blocks from one another they would look like this. You should be able to see how those blocks would fit together. This part of the cuboid would attach here. This part of this cuboid would attach here and the cube would fit towards the side of the L-shaped block. We can now reconsider those six answer options, bearing in mind the relationships between all of the blocks in this figure as we do so. And we can begin by looking at option A. In option A, although you can see that the relationship between the cube and the L-shaped block appears to be correct, it's the relationship between the two cuboids which is wrong. Remember, we notice that they are parallel to one another, and as you can see in A, they are not parallel. They would in fact meet at right angles if this one moved in this direction and this one moved in this direction. They would not be considered parallel, so A must be incorrect. Now look at option B. You can see those cuboids are parallel to one another. They are both attached to the right section of the L-shaped block, and the cube is also correctly attached. It means that B could be the right answer. In option C, we can quickly note that the orientation of those two cuboids is different. This one is different to this one, and we know that that won't be the case. They will share the same orientation however the figure rotates, so C can be eliminated. In D, although those cuboids are indeed parallel to one another, here it's the cube which is incorrectly placed. We know that the cube fits into that corner section of the L-shaped block, but in D it's attached to one of the sections forming the L like this. D, therefore, is incorrect. Now look at option E. You may have considered E to be the right answer. After all, these two cuboids are parallel to one another and the cube sits in the right position attached to the L-shaped block properly. But imagine rotating this figure around so that this face of this cuboid was level or flat on a surface like this one. You would find that the cuboid would be towards the right of the figure and not towards the left like this. Although these two cuboids are indeed parallel, it means that if this one is incorrectly positioned, this one must also be incorrect. In fact, this cuboid would be towards the right of the figure too, meaning that because this cube is on the opposite side, the cube would be towards the left of the L-shaped block and not towards the right. Therefore, E cannot be correct either. Now consider option F. In option F, again, although we can see these two cuboids are parallel, consider the position of this cube. The cube should be aligned with one corner of the L-shaped block, so in other words, this edge should be level with this edge of the L-shape. But in F, you can see that this edge is level with this edge of the cuboid, and that's incorrect. It means that option B, then, was indeed the right answer. Option B represents a rotated version of the original figure, with all of the blocks having the right relationship to one another. Top tip. If you can, try to picture the formation rotating slowly to be in a different position. Try to imagine how all of the blocks would look as that happened. In a 180 degree rotation, for example, blocks which are resting on top of others in the original figure will be underneath or on the bottom of the figure. Blocks to the left will be towards the right, and so on. Now you can try a second similar question. 
Remember, select the answer option that shows the figure on the left rotated into a different position. Only one answer option is correct. In order to answer this second similar question, you're going to consider this figure. You're going to look at how those blocks go together and think about how that figure would look if it rotated around. The resulting rotated version of the figure is represented by one of these six answer options. When you're ready, pause the video and try to work out the right answer here. You should try to do that within 30 seconds, and when you've finished working, you can resume the video and we'll check your answer together. In order to answer the question then, let's take a closer look at this figure and the blocks within it. As you can see, this figure comprises an L-shaped block with a cube positioned like this. The combination of the L-shaped block and the cube creates this upside-down T-shape. Sitting in the right angle section of the L-shaped block here is a cuboid in this orientation. Then we have a cuboid, like this, in the opposite orientation, and only this edge of the cuboid touches this edge of the L-shaped block. If we separated all of those blocks from one another, this is how they would look. The cube would sit behind the L-shape. This cuboid would fit into the right angle section created by this side and this side meeting. The final cuboid meets with this edge of the L-shaped block. The edge here touching the edge here. We can now reconsider those six answer options, noting those relationships as we do so. And we can begin with option A. Consider the two cuboids. In the original figure, the two cuboids are next to one another in different orientations. But in A, they are not touching, and we know therefore that A cannot be the right answer. Now look at option B. You can see that in option B, the two cuboids are touching one another, but consider the way that they are positioned. Although we know that one cuboid like this should protrude towards the right of the figure, if we rotated B around so that this L shape was in this orientation, this cuboid would protrude towards the left, and this cuboid would also be towards the left. It means that B cannot be right either. Now look at option C, and again imagine rotating this figure around. If we rotated the figure around, the cuboids would be correct, but the cube would be incorrect. When the L-shaped block has this face on the surface, the face of the cube is also level and on the surface, but in C you can see the cube is slightly elevated, and therefore C is wrong. Now look at option D. Imagine rotating the figure around in a clockwise manner so that it was in this orientation. You would see this cuboid correctly positioned and this one also correctly positioned. The cube is in the right place. This surface is level with this one, so the two faces are level with one another. D therefore could be the right answer. Now look at option E. If we rotated E upwards so that this cube was correctly positioned, then the two cuboids would be wrong. The cuboid here would be laid down flat and not on its edge. Therefore, E must be the wrong answer as well. Now look at F. Again, if we rotated this figure upwards, this time so the two cuboids were correctly positioned like this, then the cube would be incorrectly placed. It would be attached to this section of the L-shaped block and not towards the back here. So F would be wrong as well, and it means that option D is in fact the right answer. If we rotated this figure around, we would find it to be exactly the same as the original, meaning it represents a rotated version of that original figure. Top tip. If you find these questions tricky, try to focus on a small section of the figure and look closely at the relationship between two faces or the way two blocks fit together. Try to single out that same relationship amongst the answer options. Double check your answer by checking further features or relationships.